What's up, everybody? It's another episode of DNA T Vision, and man, I got a good friend of mine, man, like a brother, man, Mr. V Baptiste. What's good, brother? What's good, <laughs> man? Long time. Yes, hey, man. Sir. Just want to say, man, I appreciate everything you're doing, Dan, and I'm proud of you, man. This is uh, this is big, man. This is really big. Man, I so appreciate y'all supporting me, man, and I'm yeah. trying to get everybody because we used to be out there. Yeah. And man, <laughs> God kept us covered. It's a blessing we even sitting right here talking to each other. Hey, for real, <laughs> they don't man. Even, like for real. Yeah, I know, I know, bro. It's like I was telling somebody the other day, man. I, I compared it to uh, we was like soldiers in a war, and now we like <clears throat> you know like soldiers that didn't made it out of the streets of the BMT, man. You know, coming up in the in the in the eighties and the nineties in the BMT, boy. You know, you get caught in the wrong park, wrong hood. It was the wrong movie theater. We started a lot. We was a part of a lot of the startups. Yeah. We yeah, came we in the crack era, the gang yeah. era. I yeah. mean, and that was it. That's all you needed in the black neighborhood was cracking gangs. That's, that's it. It's over that's with. That's it, brother. That's it. Man, man. so uh, where it all began? Where your feet touch hit the ground at? Where it all started, man. My parents, uh, they're from Mississippi, man. One's from Roxy, Mississippi. My daddy from Rosetta. Two little country towns. I guess you can compare it to no cheap. That's where they met at? Yeah, that's what they met at, uh -huh. you know, and then uh, I was born December 5th, 74, man, right there in uh, Centerville, Mississippi. Centerville, Mississippi. Yeah, my daddy, uh, at the time, he had got drafted into the Vietnam, uh, he got drafted into Vietnam, uh -huh. so when, uh, I think when I was born, he was still over there. Yeah. He didn't know if he was going to see me, and then uh, he ended up coming back, and he seen me, and then, you know, he said he was working. You know, uh, doing his thing. You know, they they all. You know, it was just like war. Do anybody? He had some problems. You know, mm -hmm. <clears throat> coming back dealing with some stuff. But uh, what he ended up doing, he said, you know what? He told my mom. He said, uh, yeah, my mom had a little job too at the time. But he's like, I want better for my son. You know, he made a decision, and uh, he he reenlisted after he yeah. was drafted. Then he just said, you know what? Because in Mississippi at the time, you know, we was in a rural area, man, with a lot of money, man. You know what you I'm was, saying? So you remember, you, how, long, how, how old were you out there? Uh, no, I, I, I don't remember it because we, I was a baby. Mm -hmm. He just, I'm just going by basically what he told right, me. Right, right, right. And he was like, uh, he told my mom, you know, he's like, let's get up out of here. So he had re enlisted. They started with the four. Actually, I've been to Texas twice. You know, they we, we start off in, uh, Y'all had people out here or y'all just came out nah, here? No, we had no people. He 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 was uh uh they shipped him to Colleen first. Mm -hmm. I think that's Fort Hood, I was a baby. And then uh that's when um stayed there and then we went over to Germany. So from about <clears throat> age of four to about eight, I was in Germany. And then we moved back to the States. And then uh, we went right there to Fort Polk in Louisiana, stayed there a couple years, and then uh, a good blessing came for my dad. Mm -hmm. He, uh, they had a position right there at Lamar to teach all TC. It was like, you know, in Army, it was like a, a you know, just an opportunity yeah, for him yeah. to grow his career. Cause he had started moving up, getting ranked pretty high and stuff like that. You know, we stayed in Fort Jackson, South Carolina and everything. We was moving around a lot when I was young. And then, uh, my mom, so we ended up moving out here to Beaumont. I was in, a, I'll never forget, man, fifth grade, half of fifth grade year, Mr. Huff class. <laughs> you the elementary? Yeah, I, I ended up going half a year there in the fifth grade. Where? Uh, Re Regina Howell, man, Regina Howell, old, old, old Mike Fennell. Who you and, running uh, with it, Regina Howell? Uh, Mike Fennell, Frank, uh, what's Charlie's cousin name? Frank, uh, what's Frank last Taylor? Name? Frank Taylor. Frank Taylor, man, we boy, Frank was a fool in class, too. <laughs> But we was all up in class, and you know they had uh, Ralph, and mm -hmm. uh, I, I met Chris Gallo there. Uh, man, I, if I forget anybody, man, I it think, was just, uh, my girl went there. I think Alicia. Yeah, Alicia. Went there. I met Alicia there. Yeah, Alicia went there, and then uh, <laughs> David Ray. You know, mm -hmm. so I met a lot of the cats. You know what I'm saying? I ended up going to middle school with. But you know, I'm just getting to Beaumont. I'm fresh. You know, I'm like you know, just peeping the scene out. You know what I'm saying? So and, when you get to Beaumont, it's you, your mama. And yeah, and my dad. All right, Funky C wasn't here yet. Funky C, I'm tripping. He was born. Yeah. In, he was born in Germany. Funky okay. C actually was born in '83. In he Germany. Was born in Germany. So when we got here, I think it was '85 when I went to uh, we got to Beaumont. So yeah, Funky C was about two or three years old. 
Yeah, that's my little brother, Chris, man. God rest his soul. Mm -mm. So what it was like growing up, Regina Howard? Just, so you was just you and him? Yeah, it was just me and him, man. You know, uh, Spall? I, I guess you could say we didn't really have my mama wasn't, didn't have that good job yet. You know, okay. she wasn't selling insurance like she is now. Where y'all was staying at? We stayed over there off of Washington Boulevard way toward the end, back to off of Stacy. Towards we, the, go, the we all the way down here by the Flumes, uh -huh. yeah. So we... <clears throat> Actually, my daddy, before we moved over there, was in Galen Apartments. Okay, yeah. He came out there, he was in Galen Apartments. Oh, Galen. Yeah, oh, Galen. You know, we, you know, we stayed there, bro. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, uh, he he, he got, us, got us a house over there. And then, uh, you know, back in the 80s, they was busting people. So, uh, went to Regina. And then, uh, here come middle school. They was like, you going to old, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So, you hearing all these rumors, man, they was, at the Space Cowboys and the Smurfs and all of that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, you know, hey, I, 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 you know, coming up in Beaumont, man, you, you meet all kind of people, man. Oh, yeah. yeah. In the yeah. 80s to find us. Especially yeah. in them early 90s. So, we're like, we in middle school. How was that? <laughs> man, middle school was cool, you know. I, 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 uh, my, my goal in life at that time was to be a professional football player. Your big brother. You know? Yeah, my big brother, you know what I'm saying? He playing ball, he doing his thing. What's your brother's name? Greg Briggs. That's the, uh, he was, uh, we got different fathers, but he was raised by my grandmother and my grandfather. He come out of Westbrook? Uh, no, he didn't go to Westbrook. He finished in Mississippi, uh -huh. in Franklin County, and then he ended up getting a uh, scholarship to Colleen Junior College on a basketball scholarship. And from there, he, he, he the, the coach saw him, like, man, you kind of slow. Yeah. So coach talked to him about going out to, uh, trial for football and shoot my brother never played football in high school people don't know that never touched it man that boy went out there first year juco made all american safety mm -hmm. and then by that time you know we was in beaumont i must don't jump ahead and then go back we was in beaumont and then they uh my mama called him saying you know uh we ain't, you know won't you try out for tsu he said well i got a scholarship to arkansas pine bluff but they was put on probation. They was all in the same division, the SWAC back then. And SWAC was producing NFL players. So he ended up going, he, he, he left Arkansas Pine Bluff, and then that's when he went to TSU and played on the same team as uh, Michael Strahan. Okay. So the scouts, they, was, they scout the Strahan, guess who they see? They see my brother, and then he got drafted fifth round to the Dallas Cowboys in 1992. Kevin Smith went first round, Darren Woodson third. I mean, they had a monster draft class that year. So he won a ring. Yeah, he got two rings. He got the 92, and he got he didn't play the 93. He went to the <clears> World <throat> League, and then he got the last one with Barry Switzerland. Okay. And, uh, the 95 against ring. Pittsburgh. Yeah, against Pittsburgh. That's right. That's yeah, right. Yeah, that's what's up, man. So, yeah. we're in middle school, man. Now we're in the ninth grade. <laughs> <laughs> Little Brooke. Things start taking a turn. <laughs> yes. Things start taking a turn. Start running the streets, man. What was that like, running them streets, man? Man... You know, first, I, I, I was still a little focused on football and yeah, basketball. We were playing know. sports. You know, right? we was playing sports. You know, we, we had a, uh, I guess, you know, you still had your goals, man. You yeah. always think back. Think like, back to What you. if? Yeah, what if, you know. I think back to your boy. He made that song, MC8, The Hood That Took Me Under, man, oh, you know. Man. But you, 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 you start getting introduced to more, to, to more of that, you know, to more to more individuals and then you start mm -hmm. you know it's deeper into the street yeah it's deeper into the streets yeah, and yeah, then yeah. uh you know I, I i could say ninth grade i was still like on a on a straight and narrow you know mm -hmm. trying to get my books and, mm -hmm. and and trying to just play you football. still partying and yeah 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 you know but what it I'm hadn't just yeah it hadn't really fully got there yet but uh i i say this the turn for me that went down was when my dad he at that time, now my mom got this good job in Beaumont. Yeah. She making good money, you know, she's selling insurance. She a hustler, man. My mom can talk. Everybody know my mama and she can talk. So she gets this good job, you know. She's like, well, we 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 laying roots down in Beaumont. Don't make no sense for us to pack up a leave. My dad is still in the, the service. Yeah. So he's like, well, look, I gotta I gotta take this. Uh, they ship me out to New York. So I think I'm in in the tent now, you know. So uh my dad is like, you know, can you handle the Sean? Can you handle Chris? And she's like, yeah, I got it, you know. 
But my mom worked a lot of hours, so it's just us, me and my little brother. Yeah, like, I know, trust me. You know, you <laughs> already wide know. Open. Yeah, wide, wide open. So you know, uh, yeah, it wasn't. That's just how. Yeah, that's how a lot of the household, the mom, <laughs> yeah, dad yeah. gone, mom trying yeah. to hold it down, and that's it. And yeah, bro, man. Man, yeah. my mama couldn't. I just you know, God bless. She did her best. Yeah. But she couldn't, you know, what I'm saying she couldn't handle me, man. I, you know, I was one of them hard headed cats too. You got, you know, I, it's a snake over there. No, it ain't. Bam, get bit. You know, I gotta go get bit. But you know, she she did what she could do. Yeah, and, yeah, you know, I'll ten, you. yeah, ten grade. You already know, Danny, my brother. <laughs> so my brother go pro. Uh -huh. <laughs> he lead me to Nissan Central. <laughs> the red. Everybody know me. They know the red Central. I mean, how, how deep we used to be in that joke? Deep. <laughs> coming, coming out the, the glove yeah. compartment. Boy, I done, done, boy, done been some dirt. <laughs> boy, some dirt in there. I don't even want to. Hey, they, they probably still got some open cases on their central and them lights and plates. Yeah, man. But yeah, like, man, it's it it was 10th grade was an experience. You, Cornell, man, and Shaky. Yeah. Big Rico, God rest his soul. You know, uh, uh, Ed. The whole clique, man. The whole clique. G Hudson. G Hudson. G Max. Joski. Joski. Yeah. I seen June out now. Shout out to June, and I mean all of them, man. Pure Rock, everybody. Man. Black June, yeah. <laughs> D Rock, yeah, man. So you know, but you know, y'all, y'all started. What's up, B? You know, <laughs> y'all, y'all coming. I'm coming through the banner. Y'all out there hanging. Another one, Ricky, man. God bless his uh, soul. Yeah, you know man. what I'm saying? Charlie Brown, man. Yeah, yeah. Charlie Brown. What's yeah. you know Spud? All of y'all, yeah, I come yeah, out there yeah, kicking yeah, with y'all. Yeah, yeah. Y'all, hey man, we doing this thing, man. You know this shady life, you know. So, <laughs> say man, so yeah. we out there in the streets, man. It was God covering us, man. It was yes, it was a beautiful thing, man. So when you went, did you graduate from the book? I, well, actually, I I didn't walk, uh -huh. but I did get my uh, I did get you my. Had to go through a bunch of. I had to go through a whole yeah. bunch of class, a whole bunch of night school, and I gotta say this. Shout out to Adonis Mama, Felicia, because she helped me pass. Because I was, hey, yeah. if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't have passed. But I got to give her props mm -hmm. on that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, man, uh, graduation night, walk night, boy, we was out there running the streets, man, knocking out folks. <laughs> yeah, by <bye>, man. You <laughs> boy, it was ran crazy. up on Cornell. Hey, you don't yeah. want to do that. You don't want to do that. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so man, after what what you start doing after you walk after uh school, high school? <clears throat> man, after after high school, bro, I kinda like you know, I got off into a little bit of the Oh, you know what though? No, hold on. So after high school, Rico and Cisco, Anthony K. They came to me. You know, I just worked a little job. Yeah. You know, I think I was working at Albison, man. Right there at Albison's and uh they say, Man, uh, we in the studio. This about 94. I say, what y'all doing? Yeah. Like, we rapping. You know, so. Kegel and Big Reek. Kegel and Big Reek. Yeah. So, but I think Kegel, I mean, Big Rico, Darik is Brandon, he went to, uh, him and Cornell went and made a song first called Beaumont, Texas. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it, it was it was a nice little beat that lies, eyes, brothers, Luke playing. They said, man, what you want to do, man? Uh, we finna go to the studio. I never thought about rapping, you know what I'm saying? I, I was pretty good at it, but yeah. I just never thought about it, you know what I'm saying? I said, well, shoot, yeah, we, we go to the studio. So about from 94, man, we just started going to the studio. You know, we doing a little hustling, too, you know, said a little, said, you know, we doing our thing yeah, out in yeah, the street, yeah, yeah. but you working, too, you know? And we'll spend our money, go to the studio, we'll put some songs together. Then they had this uh, this record label over there by G. Maxim House, uh, Bulldog Record. They were based out of New Orleans in mm -hmm. Houston. But they, they was trying to shut up shop in Beaumont and Port Arthur. So uh, they asked us to come over there and rap for us. Me, Cisco, Charlie, and Rico. So you know what I'm saying? In, in the end, they end up saying, well, you know what? Right now, we just gonna, we want to sign you and Kegel to, a, to a, a record contract. And then, you know, we said, like, we talked to Rico and Charlie. It's like, y'all do y'all thing. And we, we ended up bringing them in with us. And we started, that's the first group was called Deep Threat. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's when we, we just started rapping for them a couple years, man. That's why I was like, I went from trying to be a football player to yeah. a rapper. You know, I, I started taking it real serious, man. Yeah, I heard a couple songs when I got out, man. I was hoping y'all, man. What, what happened? What? Man, I say this, bro. From, just, you know, I'm going to real, I'm gonna always hey, man. real talk. Hey, tell from me the what drugs, you yeah. From the drugs with me, uh -huh. you know what I'm saying? I got on I got on the drugs, you know what I'm saying? Smoking the dip and, 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 and 
Yeah, that Trenton, day, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then and then Cisco got locked up, I think, <clears> twice. <throat> Cornell didn't end up getting locked up because Cornell started putting the money behind us too. That's why we we started Man of Mob Records. You know what I'm saying? Cornell like, man, y'all fly, man. Come on, man, we finna do this thing. You know what I'm saying? And and the way I we think y'all could have made it too. I from think the songs could, I from the songs yeah. I was hearing, y'all was nice. Oh yeah, man. I think we really could have made it, bro. Who's doing y'all beats? Man, we had my boy Roy Abstract, Roy Thomas from the P side. Mm -hmm. We had my boy Tiller, uh, uh, Ronald Leblow from Ronald Leblow from the P side. We had some beats from a cat out of H-Town. Uh, man, he actually do tracks for UGK. He did tracks. And then Danny, Danny is where we really started. He used to be over there by Lamar. Danny had done, man, Danny does stuff for like Whitney Houston and all that. But he, he, he big in the game. Now, he out in Atlanta. He, he thriving. And then uh, Corey Moe was the guy from Houston that done tracks for us. He the one that introduced us to Lil O. Man, we got songs with Lil O, Papa Rue. You know what I'm saying? A bunch of cats out of H-Town. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, man, we, we we had the tracks flowing, man. <laughs> That's a beautiful thing. Had you had some kids at this time? Yeah, I had a uh, uh, my first son, Adonis, in '93, uh, fresh out of high school, and then uh, I had my second son, mm -hmm. Darian. Uh, Darian was born in '95, and then I I didn't have no more <laughs> until later on in the yeah, 2000s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <sighs> That's what's up, man. Yeah. The amount of mob. Yep. <laughs> so now we uh. We rapping and what's 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 going on with that when that didn't, when that fell through? Well, so we we man we stuck with it strong you know we yeah. like I say you know the, the drugs were taking a toll on me man the the women the lifestyle that I was living you know saying so it was just started it started beating me down and it started overwhearing my talent and I wouldn't more uh, I say you know I wouldn't probably uh, as focused on that as I should you know and then like I say some situations happened with yeah. Cisco and then. Some situations, you know. Everybody in the group going through their thing. Everybody throwing it. You know who held it down? Old Charlie, man. C Bone, C Bone stayed in his pen, stayed on his pen game, and C Bone got cold with it. You know what I'm saying? And then uh, C Bone started doing some stuff with D Rod. Uh, slow down, slow yeah. down. Him and slow down. We got a little, we got a little something too with slow down too, man. But uh, God bless another. God bless his soul. And oh no, C Bone. I mean, he's still here, man. But uh, yeah, C Bone started doing this thing. But I just say this, man. I think we could have made it yeah. if we would have pushed, especially the way it is today. Oh, yeah. See, you know, it's yeah. easy to get your music out today. Yeah. Back then, we didn't have it. You know what I'm saying? You got to you gotta really put some money behind it, get your stuff up in them stores. No people. No people. Yeah, today, you got SoundCloud, you got YouTube, and <laughs> you just been making songs just and just phone. put it out there. That's it. Just have, have your phone. phone bill and you And good. anybody. <laughs> Pay your phone bill and it's out there, baby. So it's so easy now. Yeah. But I was talking to Cisco a while back, man. We're gonna, we, we might drop some of that stuff that just never was released. Just drop just, it, man. Just, just to drop. see. Just to see, yeah. Just drop Ain't nothing wrong. What's, what's you holding yeah. it for? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, hey, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Put it out there. Somebody yeah. might want to buy the bill. <laughs> exactly. Hey, can I have this or whatever? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So when I came home in 08, mm -hmm. you know, Everybody was still out there because I used to call you V. Where's that? What's going? Yeah, yeah. yes, <laughs> yes. V, what's up, man? Where you the woo? So man. yeah, you know, back when you, when you came home in 08, I was tough in my my addiction. You know, I was the party man. Exactly. Call V, man. V, v gonna get the women. V gonna get. V, <laughs> v gonna get the party v. started. Yeah, call V. And then one day, man, I remember one time I called you. Yeah. I'm, you know, I'm out there woo woo. So let me call V. What's up, V? Where's that? You say, man, I don't even woo woo no more. Yeah. I say, all right. That nigga just told him, man. I call a nigga back next week. <laughs> he tripping. <laughs> call and, you and again. And a lot of people thought that, yeah. Call yeah. you again. What's yeah. up, V? Oh, man, I'm woo 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 yeah. woo woo And then before you know it, man, what what happened? What was the change, man? When, when did it take place? Man, this right here. Word of God, bro. Uh, 2012. Remember, I was telling you about Roy Abstract used to do beats for us. Well, I was sitting on Cornell's sister porch one day, Ingrid. Mm -hmm. I'm drinking a beer. Ingrid. Yeah, what's up, Ingrid? I'm sitting up there drinking a the beer in my hand. Man, I never forget this. And I had actually, I was, I had really started transitioning. I wasn't, I, you know, I was drug free at the time, but I was just heavily drinking. Mm -hmm. But uh, they walked up on me and Tigger. I can't remember who it was. It might have been Tigger. He said, man, Roy, I want to sit down and, and study with you, show you some things in the Bible. I said, oh, man, I, you know, I never was afraid of the word of God. I said, yeah, all right, cool. So, uh, man, I went to this Bible study, man, and, and studied with this guy, Mr. Wesley, man. And we, we started just sitting down and just going. I started asking questions. 
and opening up the word of God, man. And he was answering questions, man. And we was, I mean, I'm just reading. Just say, I want you to read. And uh, Danny, when I found out, when I when I realized where I was at, because this is like a, a, a road, this is like a map to, to show you where you at with God. I found out I was lost, man. And I needed I needed the blood of Jesus, man. And uh I got baptized and saved. I know the date. It was my uncle's birthday, July the 12th, 2012. Where you got baptized at? Right down the street, man, at Down the Road Church of Christ. Mm -hmm. Uh into that water, the grave, and became a new person, man. Uh and then from there, Dan, and it was the growth process. Mm -hmm. I started living my life according to this. You know what I'm saying? I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. I didn't let former things that I thought or my conscience guide me. I just started letting the word of God yep. teach me how to live my life. And, 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 and my parents taught me well, but when I read what God wanted me to do, and that was to put in first, take care of my, my family, be a good worker, be a good steward, you know, love people. You know what I'm saying? And then I, I just, I just started, you know, I was the party guy. Yeah. I can get the women together. Let's do a party. Yeah, so what yeah, I started yeah. doing, Danny, I flipped it. I changed it. I said, you know what? I did all of this for the devil. Let me do this for the Lord. I started, hey, I called, I called, I asked Corny, I called everybody. Man, y'all don't sound. Let's go look at this word. Mm -hmm. I called Pure. I called, man, I, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm going to have about 60 Bible studies because that was just my mission, man, just to sit down, man, and, 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 and show people. I say, hey, all I say, man, y'all want to sit down and just learn something, see what this says. I'm not telling you to believe it. Yeah. I just want you to look at the evidence yeah. that's up in here. Yeah. yeah. It's a beautiful thing, man. Yes, it's a change, man. And, yeah. and, and your kids, how many kids you got now? I got four boys, but uh, two boys is uh, my uh, six all together. Mm -hmm. Two for my, my wife. When mm -hmm. I married her, she got two, and then I got four boys. Your my wife? Daughter. Yes. My wife. Be married. <laughs> Yes, Smooth V. Where you met your queen at? Met my queen. Actually, the first time I met her, I laid eyes on her right there at, over here across the street, man, at Exigent. Uh -huh. Working out. Yeah. I first seen her. Like, man, pretty good. You and Slug was in? Yeah, Slug was yeah, in there. Yeah. You might have been there too, though. We, we, we Slug, uh -huh. and I just watching this. She say I was watching her. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But anyway, yeah. yeah. And uh, that's, I, I, that's when I first laid eyes on her, man. And then uh, I put a post. You know, because everybody know I post Bible scriptures. And I put a, a Proverb 31 talk about the virtuous woman. Well, a virtuous woman got some characteristics that a lot of women today don't have. Mm -hmm. But I didn't notice it. But Pam commented, she said, that's my role model. I'm like, you see what this said? This woman here is a God-fearing, blah, 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 this and that. This woman is a very good woman. Yeah. She said, yeah, that's, that's who I inspire to be like. Man, that just caught my attention. I'm like, wow, that's a, let me know her mind frame. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we just, I said, can I call you sometime? She said, yeah. So we sparked it up. We started talking, you know, find out Big Doc was a brother. And, mm -hmm. you know, you know, she she wanted to show pain. I didn't know because she gives her, you know, mm -hmm. you know, we used to, hey. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we yeah. had a couple of little battles. Yeah, we had a little battles yeah. with them back in the day. You know, but, uh, you know, I, I just, uh, man, met her and, uh, she showed up one day at worship. They came and got me. I was sitting out there and they said, uh, you got a visitor. I said, oh, who, 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 I who better than me? And I come out there, Danny. She was sitting out there looking just beautiful, man. I, I laid eyes on her. I'm like, wow, she came and visited. You like I to beg somebody to come to church with me. Yeah. It's to me. And see, I had already asked God. I said, Lord, you're going to have to help me because I don't know what a good woman looks like. Yeah. I'm going to let you. Just bless me with the wisdom to choose a good woman, cause it's our choice. Yeah, you can choose. God not gonna make that choice for you. You got to choose. But I just ask God to help me open my eyes and help me see a good woman. But when I saw that, I say that's the woman I wanna, I wanna go to heaven with. Mm -hmm. You know, she gonna help me go to heaven. And that was all made my Lord. I want a woman that's gonna help me go to heaven, cause I know she gonna do everything and I'm gonna do everything to please you and put you first. Nah, right, man, that's what's up, man. How long y'all been married? We going on this be five years in November, bro. Five years. Yep, man, that's a beautiful thing. Yes, man. sir. Yes, sir. From from, <laughs> man, I told somebody, man, we could just go outside and just say thank you and never stop. That's right, bro. <laughs> thank, man. This it's it's such a blessing, Dan, and, and like you say, man, from where we came from to where we are now, man. You know, like I say, it's just like like 
like soldiers that have been in the war and made it out of there. You know, we see each other. I you see rival enemies from back in the day, bro. We just look at each other, dab each other up, say we might have shot at each other or whatever. You we know, still here. we still here, man. I appreciate you know whatever happened in the past, man. We here to we here for our children. You know, yes, what I'm saying? sir, yes, sir, yes, sir, man. It's yeah. a beautiful thing, man. God got you covered. We can all see it, man. And I hope that you continue to. Do you, baby. That's it, bro. And God in you, and that's yeah. doing you. And that's it. <laughs> hey, like I say, bro, anybody want to sit down and learn, watch, learn this, get up with me, man. Leave get a word to these young brothers, man, before <laughs> you. Leave yeah. a word to these young brothers, man, before you. Yeah. Hey, I, end it. I tell y'all this, bro. Matthew 6, 33 says, Seek first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and all things will be added. What that scripture is talking about is putting God first. Get your priorities together. Put him first. Don't put no job. Don't put no woman. Don't even put your kids. You put God first. And, and then right in the context of that, Jesus starts talking about how he's going to take care of you. If you put him first, God said he's going to handle the rest. So that's what we have to do, man. We have to seek him. And, he, and God said, if you want to seek him, he will let you know the truth. And, and, and that's what I was doing, man. But hey, bro, uh, I'm just here to tell you, Danny. I know, I know you from Fina, man. You know what I'm saying? You did it. I did it. It's so many countless others that then came out these BNT streets, man. <clears throat> I wanted to do this because I wanted to tell the youth, man, y'all can get out of there. It's, it's not, it's not a dead situation, Danny. We knew about these plants and CDLs when we was young. Somebody was just talking to somebody about that. Me and Steve was talking about that. I said, man, we did this stuff when we was young. And it's, and it's been out. And it's been here. Yeah. We just ignored it because we was in the streets. We like, oh, we, we wasn't around the people that's going to tell us about there it. There you CDL. go. And that's the key. <laughs> that's the key. That's the key, bro. Yeah. So, man, you know, we, we, we really want to give back, though. Yeah. And I appreciate this opportunity, man. Say, man, I appreciate you coming through, man. And uh, keep us in your prayer, man. We're going to keep you. And now was, man, and we love you for stopping by, man. Hey, man, I appreciate it, man. Can I say a quick prayer real quick? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Father, for this opportunity to glorify you, Lord. We ask that you be upon Danny. We ask you to be upon Alicia, Lord. Bless them, Lord. Continue to reach the youth, Lord, that's lost. We pray, Lord, that your word reaches all, Lord. We know your will is for no man, no woman, no one to be lost, Father, but to know the truth. We continue to pray, Lord, to put your blessings upon the youth out here in Beaumont, Lord. Lord, that they will get fine wisdom and guidance and come out of these streets, Father. Bless us all with the knowledge and wisdom and more importantly, Lord, to help them understand you love them and you gave your son for their sins. It's in Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. So appreciate you, baby it's boy. Good, DNA bro. TV. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stepping out tonight. Gotta get myself